space uh, and the International Space Station uh, offers researchers like me an opportunity to find the key variables to crystal growth. My experiment is unique from other protein crystal growth uh, experiments in that rather than getting large single crystals, I'm interested in crystalline suspensions. And these crystalline suspensions have applications uh, such as manufacturing, uh, drug delivery, formulation, storage. These are all problems of delivering these monoclonal antibody therapeutics. Um, one of the big problems with monoclonal antibodies, even though they're very good drugs and they've been approved for cancer, multiple sclerosis, uh, uh, osteoporosis, a number of, of uh, serious uh, life-threatening uh, diseases, is that they're very insoluble, and so they're difficult to deliver. One of the big problems is, is that they usually have to be given as a constant infusion in a hospital setting over several hours. And this impacts not only the uh, patient, but it's a big impact on caregivers. And we're hoping that we could come up with a crystalline suspension that you could take as a single injection in a doctor's office, not only reducing the cost, but, but reducing the, the uh, time and pain and effort that a patient and, a, and caregivers have to do to uh, deliver these products. So where are we with that? We on Earth are in the process of making concentrated crystalline suspensions, and we're hoping that microgravity, because we get reduced sedimentation, that we get reduced convection currents, and reduced molecular motion, that this will translate into larger, pure, um, more uniform suspensions. And I want to emphasize uniform, because for drug delivery, it's very important that you have each indiv individual particle has a predictable dissolution rate to make our drugs as effective as and safe as possible. Our experiment has flown on SpaceX 3, as well as SpaceX 6. Uh, from SpaceX 3, we're very happy to say that we got crystals that were larger and higher yield. This was our proof of concept flight, and we're very happy to see that this really mimicked the, ex the results that we had gotten from our earlier space shuttle missions, and this was the predictable results we were hoping for. And that gives us the confidence to go forward. Uh, we just recently flown on SpaceX 6, and we got crystals back from that, and we're in the process of analyzing that. And we're looking forward to SpaceX 9. And SpaceX 9, we hope that we can finally make uh, crystals, uh, crystalline suspensions in the quantity that we need to do the analysis that we want to do to really figure out what are the key variables for making really high quality preparations suitable for pharmaceutical applications. And I have to say that I guess surprises a lot of people is I never get exactly what I think I'm going to get from these experiments and I always learn from that. And I always tell people that I've learned how better to grow crystals on Earth by growing them in microgravity because the focus of the efforts that I have to put in to make these experiments work uh, forces me and forces our team to focus on the fundamentals of what we're really trying to do.